come home from work, I had it scattered all over the patio. <laughs> he goes, all I got to say, son, is it butter crank when you put it back together. So about three hours later, I had it all back together. He come down, choked it, pulled the rope, started right up. Well, a good friend of his owned the business where he bought that lawnmower and had a little car garage off to the side. So he told him what I did. So at 14 years old, I started getting off the bus at a little place called Allen's Garage and assembling lawnmowers and working on lawnmowers. Well, started hanging around in the car shop and the lawnmower business wasn't going so good. And, you know, learned to work on cars. I mean, Chris, Dan, everybody here, that's kind of the way you get started in being a technician or a mechanic. Well, I worked with Mr. Allen until I was 17. And when I was in high school, they did early work release. So I started getting out of school at 12 o'clock every day. And I went to work at McCurdy Chevrolet. Worked as a technician, and we worked on it, everything from a Vega to a 90 series truck. You know, worked there for uh, about 19 years as a tech. And after working on 90 series trucks for 17, 18, 19 years, my back and knees couldn't <laughs> take it anymore. So I went to Mr. Pope, and I told him, I said, you know, I said, I either want to get in management or I'm going to have to find me something else to do. He goes, well, I've got a opening for assistant body shop manager. I said, I'll take it. So went in, worked in the body shop for about three years, and then we were sold. New owner come in, him and I kind of hit it off, and we talked. He goes, you know, explain to me why you have 19 years experience in service, and you're in the body shop. He says, tomorrow morning, I want you to be my service manager. So I went in. Unfortunately, he made me fire the guy who had been my boss for the last 19 years. Oh. <laughs> you know, so a little awkward, and then... Uh, a little while later, we were sold again. And when we were sold again, we were sold to one of the big groups. They come in, closed our body shop, which is what they all normally do, if you're familiar with how the groups work. They don't like body shops. And fired the parts manager and said, okay, you're gonna do parts and service. So stayed there, did that for, you know, about four and a half years. Moved my family to Lake Oconee. Decided I couldn't make the drive from Lake Oconee back to Stone Mountain every day. I left 4.30 in the morning, got home 9 o'clock every night, six days a week. So sent a resume to Classic Motors six years ago. Come down, they hired me. You know, we, a lot of you were here. We've been through some tough times. You know, Classic, it was pretty good. Mr. G there, it was pretty good. And then we all know what happened next. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, fortunately for all of us, Mr. Heron come in and bought the store, and the last the last year has been very good. I mean, we all hit a lot for he pretty much saved the store, saved all our jobs. You know, with that, I want to go into you know kind of what Mr. Heron was talking about, what we're trying to do, what we're looking for. You know, as he said, January through June, you know, our goal was a hundred thousand. 